Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video so much you will click that subscribe button at the end. And to all my subscribers, thank you so much for coming out every week, watching my videos and supporting my channels. I so greatly appreciate it. I have such a fun projects prepared for you guys today, including the easiest way to add rust to your project. So without further ado, let's get started on the first DIY. And for this project, I am using two out of the three containers that come together as a pack. And I'm trying so hard to get the top of it. So you can see I'm using the, uh, the knife and now I'm into my dice. And all you have to do is just take the top off. Basically, I want to squish the one of the containers on top. So I'm trying to figure out a way to do it. And uh, the easiest way was just to cut little triangles on both sides that are going to fold in. And you're gonna see it in just one second. And uh, the whole container just folded really, really nicely. Just like that. What I'm doing is I'm creating the the base for the windmill i thought that these containers were absolutely perfect for it so now in order to hold the top together i will add two zip ties and it doesn't matter what color that you're going to use for the zip ties because we are going to spray paint the entire thing in flat black of the tops just because we don't need the rest of it and uh, this is how I'm going to put it together so that's gonna be the base for my windmill so the glue gun gets to work and I'm adding the top on and I'm going to spray paint it in black and here you have it it's already spray painted so now I can't start working on my beautiful windmill from the Dollar Tree as well. And now it's completely black, but I have seen them come, uh, come in uh, different colors. So I'm just adding a little bit of silver and some gray, uh, brushed gray. I think it's called brushed gray. So those different colors are going on top with a little bit of black. I let it dry and now I'm going back with silver and I'm just touching the ends. So just imagine that only the ends are wet at this point and whatever I'm touching on the around the, the blade. And now here is my awesome way to add rust and it's cinnamon. Oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. It adds such an amazing natural rust effect i was just in awe I, I saw someone use it on pinterest and I, I was like okay i'm going to try it and i just could not believe how well it worked it just looks so beautiful look at this it is stunning and so easy too so now my my windmill can just um go straight into the base and it's it really stays very well you don't have to do anything else to it I did think though that the base was a little bit too dark so I'm just adding again the same colors that I used for the top I'm just dabbing them on a little bit of silver the brushed gray and a little bit of black just to calm down the black and now here we go I'm taking the planter also from the Dollar Tree and I'm giving a nice coat or actually two coats of chalk paint and here I'm going with the same colors sponging so I have the uh, pewter I have the uh, gray brushed gray which is like silverish and black and I'm just leaving the name kind of untouched I just add a lot of uh, color around it so you can definitely see white around where the the flower garden uh, verbiage is now after it's all dried i took some sandpaper to it and i started sanding around where the words were and it came out so nice you cannot see it very well on the video for whatever reason but it really popped out and it just looks really really nice 
So now the only thing that is left is to add some foam to the bottom of the planter and start putting everything together starting with the windmill and I'm glue gunning it to the side of the planter so it's going to be like on one side and the rest is going to be filled with beautiful flowers from the Dollar Tree which I absolutely love and I decided to go with the blues and the white so here you have me go at it. <laughs> I was very impressed with the Dollar Tree selection of fake flowers. They just look so beautiful. And there you have the project finished. I think it came out so nice. Look at that rust. I mean, tell me if you don't love it. <laughs> I love it. It looks so natural. And the whole thing just came out really, really nice. I was happy with it. Okay, so let's get started on the next project. And we'll need two of those little... Uh, fences from the Dollar Tree and cut off those little sticky leg things that usually go <laughs> inside the ground. We're not gonna need them for today's project. Also cut off the ends so that it's nice and flush. After I cut it off I realized that you know there was still a little bit of uh, pieces from the leg sticking out and I could not get it with my scissors or a knife so I just went on with my little sanding paper and I sanded them down and it looked great. Alright so now it's time to turn those things over. So now we are looking at the back side of the whole project and I'm deciding how to put them together and I decided that the easiest way to begin with is to glue gun it so a lot of glue is going in I thought the clips were put and keeping it nice and steady I didn't have to worry about the two pieces moving so and then to reinforce it I'm adding some popsicle sticks these are not the small ones these are the medium ones so they are not the painter sticks um, they're like in between the two sizes. Now I'm adding some zip ties and I'm putting them on all my four pieces on top at the bottom and then I'm putting some on the side as well. Again, doesn't matter what color it is, just make sure that when you put them on you leave like an inch and a half sticking out because that's what's going to hold our project to the frame. I'm going to take them for a quick spray paint job in flat black. So let's get started working on the frame. I'm using the furring strip, the one by two inches. Uh, the two longer pieces are 26 inches and the shorter ones are 18 and a quarter each. But please make sure to measure it just in case. Um, because I think that not all those fences are exactly the same and I'm using wood glue to put them together While the glue is drying I'm grabbing my vases They come in a three pack from the Dollar Tree and I'm cutting them in half So there you have it. It's very easy the, to cut them. No issues there at all I'm tracing on the foam. No, actually, it's not even a foam board. It's a poster board the backing and I'm going to glue gun the backing to them and don't worry about being precise with that this is just going to be in the back and honestly this is the only thing about it is for about it is to keep your greenery or whatever else you you're gonna put in there together so don't think that it has to be pretty or exact it just needs to hold and here I spray painted it in bronze and I'm going to punch two holes in the back and it's almost like a crop crocodile it's for you putting brads in that's that's my then <laughs> if you are if you're wondering what this machine is but that is to put brads in I already painted my frame in uh, dark walnut stain or with dark walnut stain and I'm flipping it over and I'm going to start the assembly so the the frame is flipped over and so is my big piece and now I'm going to start attaching it and what I'm doing is I am putting glue on the zip ties and as I'm putting it down I'm also using a popsicle stick to attach it 
and I'm just gonna go all around on all four sides and that's what exactly what I'm going to do just glue and put the popsicle stick on the zip tie and it holds fantastic Okay, and here you have it, my little containers. I'm going to start attaching them to the whole piece. So I'm putting zip tie through the two holes that I, that I punched out, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and zip tie it to the piece, and you can put it wherever you want. I'm placing it just below the middle piece. And there you have it it's nice and snug and it's going to be holding my beautiful plants and look at the entire piece I think it came out so neat and it cost me just a little just under four dollars for the entire thing I think it's just such a great addition to your room I absolutely love it and I had so much fun making it too. Okay, moving on to the next project. I picked it up from the 99 cent stores like three little buckets and the holder. And here I am using the mesh that you use to put together drywalls. So I'm just gonna use that uh, around it just placing it and I'm going to make sure that it's attached very very well so I know that there are going to be imperfections and faults but at this point I really don't care because they're just going to add to the beauty of this piece and I'm using the antique wax paint uh, by Waverly just to sponge it and you kind of have to actually push quite a bit on it to make sure that you you get a nice coverage underneath the tape And now that it's all dry, I'm just pulling the tape off and look at that. I totally love how uh, distressed it looks. I, I think it just came out so neat. So I'm going to do it to the rest of my packets too. And here I'm using the eggs from the Dollar Tree. I painted them with the brown first just to get rid of the pinks and stuff. And I'm putting Mod Podge on it and now the sawdust is going on yes 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 I am actually saving the sawdust uh, actually my husband is saving the sawdust for me so that was my first egg and here's another one I paint this one white and I punched out a bunch of little flowers and now I'm just adding glue dot glue pieces of uh, glue and I'm, ta I'm attaching all my little flowers all around this pretty egg and there you have it. You can totally use gazillion different colors that you, if you want, but the flowers stay great and it's just such a cute egg. All right, and here I'm grabbing some raffia and I'm just chopping it into tiny, tiny pieces. So you can see that it almost looks like little pieces of hay and again the egg gets a nice coat of Mod Podge on it and guess what raffia is going on <laughs> also a very nice natural look to the egg and this year that's what I was after I want it to look super natural and look at that it coated it so beautifully so let's grab our buckets and I already added some uh, foam to it and now I'm going in with the grass now when you look at the grass it actually is divided into little bunches so it's just using those bunches for the different buckets and my eggs are going in yay and <laughs> so I, I had so much fun making this project I love the way the eggs came out the whole project looks great I think and you can always spray them with a clear coat 
just to make sure that the pieces don't fall off. Now you have seen this at the Dollar Tree and I just love the way it was. So the actual fresh carrot sign is getting a coat of Mod Podge from me and I'm putting a tissue paper on. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it's going to add a nice texture uh, to it and I'll be able to sponge it very easily too. And you can actually go with your finger and clear off the little brads so they're nice and shiny. And now let's get started with sponging. I'm using the Antique Wax by Waverly and I'm playing with it because the actual board is pretty smooth which right now I was thinking and you guys may consider that I should have sanded it down on the edges just a little bit but I didn't so I'm basically sponging it and smearing it sponging it and smearing it and it in the end came out great but I think if I sanded the edges it would have added an amazing effect so here you can see that at first I was using my fingers, now I'm, I'm into a piece of cloth, now I'm into nothing. <laughs> uh, and now I'm going to start actually sponging the centerpiece. And of course the colors are going on so different because we have that tissue paper and that's exactly what I was after. I figured that it would sponge much easier. Now I wanted to sponge the edges much darker than the center so it really takes time to do it. You cannot rush this because you don't want to put too much color at once because it just destroys the whole thing. The whole idea about sponging is adding the color gradually and it does take time. So if you don't have the patience you might just want to skip this, <laughs> this step. I also added some paint to the lines uh, on the board because I thought that they just looked too fake. So I was going to go and distress them just a little bit. I think it came out fantastic. I am so in love with this board. I really, really do. And I think that it goes so well with my piece that I just finished with my egg. I, I cannot wait to display it at home. What do you guys think? Well, I hope that you guys enjoy the projects today. I pour my heart out when I make them and I'm so happy when I get to share them with you. Now, if you enjoyed it and you have not subscribed yet, hopefully you like this video so much that you will click that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much to all my su subscribers for coming out every week, watching my videos and supporting my channel. You guys are the best. Till next time, my friends, ta-ta!